Also at this hour, Tehran is now considering reviewing the headscarf diktat. The Attorney General of Iran says the government is taking a second look at the law mandating women to cover their heads with hijab. Remember, the Islamist nation has been witnessing widespread protests over the past three months. The protests led by women and students are the biggest in decades. The Iranian government says that over 200 protesters were killed in the protests. A top official says that many members of the Iranian security forces were almost or also amongst those who were killed. However, aid agencies who have been closely monitoring the protests say that the actual number of deaths are much higher. The United Nations put the number of deaths at 300. The United Nations says that 40 children were among the dead. The country has been witnessing nationwide protests since the 16th of September 2022, that's this year, sparked by the custodial death of 22-year-old Masa Amini. She was arrested by the morality police for allegedly flouting the Sharia-based law. The hijab headscarf became obligatory for all women in Iran in April 1983, four years after the Islamic Revolution that overthrew the U.S.-backed monarchy. The headscarf remains a highly sensitive issue in a country where conservatives insist it should be compulsory, while reformists want to leave it up to individual choices. Despite the brutal crackdown by Tehran, women continue to come out on the streets. They threw their hijabs and even shouted slogans against the Iranian supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. The protesters also demanded an end to the Islamic government. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.